Expected value is one of the most elementary properties that we can calculate from a probability distribution, from a random variable. So let's say that we have, again, our favorite, prob our favorite random variable, x, which is the value of a die roll. And again, we talked about the values this can take on. The set one, two, three, four, five, and six. The expected value is what you expect the long term results of continuously sampling from this random variable are over long periods of time. It's mathematically equivalent in many cases to the mean. And the fundamental, the formula for this is pretty simple. In a discrete random variable like we have here, the formula for the expected value, you write it like this, e to the x, right, the expected value of x, e of x, is equal to the sum over all the values that the distribution can take on. So all the values that, can, that it can take on times the probability that that particular value occurs. And that's it. You sum all of this up and that's the expected value. So let's do this for the purpose of a die roll in this example and see what we get. Well, the, the value for each of these, is there, there are six of them, right, is the first value. So this is equal to one times the probability of getting a one, which is one over six, plus what? Two times the probability of getting a two, which is one over six again, and so on for all of them. I mean, this is gonna get boring, so we'll just speed it up a bit. We can factor out the one sixth, and then it's just one plus two, da, 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 plus six, and that's just, right, multiple times of sevens, because you got six and one is seven, five and two is seven, three and four is seven, so it's three pairs of seven. So it's one over six times seven times three. And if we do a little bit of cancellation to factor this out, we can cancel the three with the six and put the two below, and this is equal to seven over two, which is 3.5. And that, is the expected value of this die roll, of any single die roll of, of a six-sided die. Now you might say, well, hang on a second, that doesn't make any sense. 3.5 isn't even an option here. How can 3.5 be the expected value of a discrete random variable when it's not even a possibility? And that's because the expected value doesn't have to be one of the options necessarily. It is the value that we expect to see the, the random variable converge to give us most commonly on average after doing this many, many times. It is the mean of these six numbers because they are of equal likelihood to occur. Now, if this was an unweighted uh, an unfair die, meaning one of these numbers was more likely to come up than the other, then the expected value would not simply be the average of these numbers. It would shift towards whichever number is, is more likely. If, if we were, say, many more times likely, a hundred times more likely to roll a six, or a thousand times more likely to roll a six than any other number, then the expected value of our unfair die would be very, very close to six. But since we're talking about a fair die, it's just the average because every single one of the probabilities is the same. 
The expected value can also be calculated for a continuous random variable as opposed to a discrete one. And there the equation is just a little different. Instead of doing uh, sum, you have to do the integral. And so you just take the integral, this is the expected value of let's say y, if y is a continuous, continuous random variable, it's the integral of the full, spa full space that it can take on. So wherever the, wherever the random variable can span from, lowest to highest, times basically the same thing, the value of y that we're looking at, times the probability that, that y is at that value. Now in continuous space, it's not a fixed probability because the probability of any single point is zero. Instead, what we have is a probability density function. And that's just given by f of f of y. And we multiply that by dy. You have to know what this probability density function is in order to calculate the expected value of a, of a continuous random variable. But to define a continuous random variable, you also have to have the, the the probability density function. And that, that you can look at and create by looking at what the, what the value, the probability values are of a part of this, of this random variable across the span that it does. That's it. That's what expected value um, is and how you calculate it.